Parallel Booth with Monica Muller. Hi. How you doing, Monica? Good, thanks. Good. Um, I noticed a product I've never seen before. Um, so the filter on the top of the tank, you tell me it's been around for how long? About 25 years. 25 years, but I'm first seeing it, and a lot of pe other people probably are unfamiliar with it as well. Uh, can you tell me about, about that? Sure. So as I said, it's been around for about 25 years. It's made to go on anybody's regulator. Our original one was made to go just on ours. So these can be put on any regulator with a 3 8 port. It has a ball joint in it, so mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about it getting broken. When you first get it from us, you want to screw it onto there. You also want to use the Allen wrench that's included with it. <laughs> and that's so you can hit the right spot. That's what locks it on to it. Otherwise, it's all, it always moves. But if you lock it on, then it's just going to stay on to the first stage. So sitting in here is a charcoal filter and that'll pick up any dust or rust or odors that might be in the tank in between hydros that builds up. Uh, they'd also pick up oil. It'll spot it if you've got some oil in the present. If that happens, you need to replace it right away, otherwise it's good for about 50 dives. This sits right here. When you're starting your dive for the day, you want to drop this into a cup of water first. What is That's, that? Uh, it's a moisture pad. Moisture pad. Yeah, it's going to go in here. You can't moist get it wet enough with just the bottle when you first go out. So you want to drop it in a cup of water, get it real saturated, make sure it's saturated in the center. Slide it onto here, close everything back up. Every time you draw a breath, mm -hmm. it uses these holes to put 70% humidity into the air. So every breath you take is moisturized. It's not meant to be a drop of water, a drink of water. It's meant to be just not dry. And that makes it easier to clear because you use station tubes are working properly. Also, no dry mouth, no sore throat, uh, less incidence of post-dive headaches, decompression sickness. In between dives, you don't have to take the whole thing apart. Now it's already wet, it's easier to get wet. So while you have it off the tank, you just go ahead and press in here. Once you get, have done it a few times, you know how many units you want to use. Most people carry around about four dives worth of water in there. And you're using distilled or bottled. Okay. So when it's off the tank, you press it down, fill it up, and you're ready to go on your next dive. You don't want to wait and go into your second dive without having refilled it, because if you've been diving with moisturized air and it suddenly stops, it's very noticeable. So you always want to refill again before you go on your second dive. Okay, cool. You said uh, a lot of the people tend to uh, use it more when they're like to use it more when they're traveling. Oh no, not necessarily. But you can also, um, if you don't want to use the charcoal filter all the time, like if you're happy with where you're getting your air supply, you're not worried about it. Because these are only good for about 50 dives. If you want to reserve it, you can. You don't have to have it in okay. the unit. Right. Cause, okay. When you're traveling, yeah. you're, you're, you're yeah. a little unsure maybe where they're getting their air and all exactly. that stuff okay a lot of times people will have it where their friends will be commenting that the air tastes funny and they don't have that because they've got the charcoal filter which is taking it out okay awesome well uh have a great show and uh Thank thanks you. Okay.